past few days, mayors from around the country have made similar gestures, mayors from sanctuary cities. Baltimore doesn't hold that status because the city doesn't control central booking or ICE deportation procedures. But the mayor made it clear today what it means to be a welcoming city. Joined by immigrants from a number of Baltimore neighborhoods, the mayor said they and refugees make the city stronger and more diverse, adding in the wake of the national election, she wants to assure residents that Baltimore is inclusive and tolerant. Along with the police commissioner, the mayor encouraged residents to contact police if they are a victim of crime, reminding them that the local police does not have the authority to deport. Now more than ever, we need to come together as a city as one Baltimore to make sure our communities send a strong and clear message that we all belong. This is a city for all of us, no matter where you may have originally come from. The Baltimore Office of Immigrant and Multicultural Affairs released a community guide today, which among other things, warns of immigration scams and encourages residents to report hate crimes and call police if they feel threatened. We've posted a link to it on our website. In terms of the incoming mayor, Catherine Pugh, a spokesman says she is studying up on this issue of Baltimore as a welcoming city. Live in the studio, Deborah Wiener, WBAL TV 11 News.